After a month's delay, the 2020 sugarcane crop season officially opened with a symbolic ceremony held at the BSI compound at Tower Hill in Orange Walk. The late start was agreed to by all stakeholders, the millers and the farmers, following the drought of 2019 that affected the sugarcane crop. BSI Director Mark McLachlan says that over 10,000 persons, whether directly or indirectly, benefit from the industry in the north. We employ around about 670 highly skilled Belizean men and women who run this, run this mill and keep it working. We give, uh, as an industry, employment uh, directly and indirectly to around about 10,000 uh, people in the north of this country. Around about 40,000 people generally rely on this industry for their livelihoods in the north, and that represents around about 40% of, of the economy in the north of Belize. Uh, this, this industry itself is responsible for bringing in about 6% of Belize's uh, foreign exchange income. And uh, we produce about 30% of the agricultural gross added value for Belize. And we provide through uh, Belka Gen behind us here around about 15% of Belize's electricity needs. Contributions to the country's economy aside, this year the industry has projected millions of dollars in losses as sugarcane production dropped by 30% due to the prolonged drought. And that was evident this morning because even though milling began, the inclement weather over the past few days has compounded the issue. There was no sight of trucks laden with cane along the route leading to the mills because the rainy weather has prevented farmers from harvesting their crops and taking to the mills. The projection is that just about 1 million tons of sugar cane will be milled. That's 300,000 tons less than last year's production. From a, a record production last year, it's going to fall off significantly this year because of the drought. We don't know exactly by how much. Sugar prices are beginning to rally, thankfully, after a long period in the doldrums. Uh, there's still a lot of sugar stocks in the world to use up, so we're not going to see anything dramatic uh, initially, but there's definite that the world is now, the global sugar market is in a deficit position, which is better for pricing looking forward. We put a lot of investment into this business for the future, and we want to leverage that in support for our communities here and for our farmers here to, to overcome some very distinct and difficult challenges related to the weather. Uh, in this last year. All four cane farmers associations and their members have accepted that the industry will realize a loss in this season. The government of Belize has acquired a $2 million loan facility that will be used to assist farmers affected by the drought. Minister of Agriculture says that they have just recently completed a register of the farmers and within weeks, funds will be issued to those affected. The ministry engaged uh, the Caribbean Development Bank and other agencies. We have a $2 million loan which we will use to give to the farmers as inputs for the subsequent crops. So it comes back, that's fertilizers and whatever else they need. We needed to know all the farmers and register them and know where they are and know who they are so that it was a transparent upfront thing and would not go into any political criticism where one only help their one only. So that is what the ministry did, devoid of all the politics and so and so that when the, the, the assistance come it will be on a pro rata basis per tonnage of farmers. You know we, we gave out the aid to the other farmers already and that ranged from about two hundred dollars to nine thousand three hundred. Minister Halson McLachlan also spoke about projects going forward. Our key focus areas for this year, completing our investment uh, in producing added value sugars, which should be completed later this month. That's the direct consumption phase two investment, 20 million US dollars, uh, to enable us to produce a much higher quantity of value added direct consumption sugars. Uh, we need to focus obviously on the core challenges we have of climate change water management, uh, irrigation, um, drainage, all of the things associated to make this a stronger business in the future. We are negotiating with the World Bank a, a large loan to do water management, which is very important. And there will be various types of facilities, but the whole idea is, for example, all the rains that are falling in January here, if we could conserve, catch it and conserve it and store it to then use for animals and plants, etc. So those are the programs we're looking at. Dwayne Moody for News 5.